I want to do some uh, knife slashing sounds on the flesh, so I'm actually going to use the rubber foot we used in scene 11. This is scene 11. I filled up the rubber foot with uh, wet socks just to stop the internal uh, plastic sounding resonance of it. it. Sounds too fake. But when I hit it with a metal object like a knife, it doesn't sound real enough. So I found when I wrapped it in newspaper, it's got more of a, a sloppy type of feel. That's just going to be part of the impact that's going to be on the foot. What I'm going to do now is wrap it in more newspaper. So it's got more of a wet feel to it. Add a little bit of water. So it's a little more sloppy sounding. Place the mic. It's a cheap little Sony microphone, but it works wonderfully. I watch it and practice the movements before I start recording again. sawing part comes in. I'm going to try some bone sawing. I'm going to layer some sounds. Then I'm going to take some dry rice noodles, wrap them, put that mic close, get the headphones on so I can hear what I'm doing. I'm going to have to take the pad off this. It just makes some crunchy sounds. But I'm going to have to muffle it more with the thick material on the back. It works, seems to work better. And that's just for the actual bone cutting part. Scene 11, bone cutting underlay part 1. Cutting through flesh with a lemon actually sounds pretty convincing when it's up close, so flesh cutting, scene 11, take one. For an idea of how this sounds, just put it up close to the microphones here, it's more like a, never mind the dripping sound. See it's really gross and gunky, here, I'll we'll do it again. Now for the, uh, the machete swings, I'm going to use <clears throat> this tennis racket. <sighs> and as well, I'm going to put a high pass filter on it later, so I'm not too worried about the rumbling traffic outside. Here we go. Make sure I got to do my hair first. All right. Let's see. There we go. Rumpling plastic underneath, take one. Alright, this is uh, scene 11. Gordy walking on plastic and kneeling down, take one. So now I've got the hole. Let me get this up here. <clears throat> now I've got the hole sequence of sound effects right from the beginning all the individual chopping of the flesh sounds all the way over to the what do we have here bone crushing sounds and I have the sawing of the flesh sounds through the uh, lemon someone making sound outside this is not a real Foley studio oh yeah okay. that's part of the VHS or the videotape squishy sounds. I've got them all in one big sound file. Now I'm just going to work on them individually. So I'll just uh, copy this onto its own file and have a series of like four different impacts here. So we got and the first thing I'm going to do is find out how loud these things are. Minus 28 
minus 26. I'm going to put a noise gate on all these little areas individually. It's going to set the threshold up near somewhere near zero, so nothing will get through. Wait, let's see how that sounds. And this stuff in here, noise gate that. Noise gate this. And clean up this stuff. So all I have is the individual smacks. Oh, I like it. Okay, I'm going to save this now. Now I just need to find um, a squishy sound. Mm, I like that one. To go with the machete chops. So. I like that. I'm going to copy this into its own file so I can look at it. I'm going to get rid of this stuff. Squishy01. I'm going to copy this file, minimize it. I'll bring up my uh, wax. Ooh, I like that. I'm going to zero in on this location here, zoom in. And I'm going to mix in that squishy sound. So it'll be like, ooh, maybe not quite so pronounced. So I'll mix it in, 4 dB lower. I've got all the squishy sounds added in. Now we'll listen to this. Put the speaker here. Here we go. So now I'm just going to take it and line it up with the picture. So I have just threw it on a random. Uh, I threw it on a random track. It just says Foley A. Oh, okay. So I got to find out the point where he's going to wield the machete. The first whack would go right about. Looks like there because he recoils a bit right there. We don't want him to recoil and then have the whack. Gotta have the whack right there. I'll shrink the sound file a bit because... Oh, great. Okay, that looks good so far. Another squish. The camera moves at the right time as well because it looks like the guy is holding the camera on his chest. Oh, <laughs> that's disgusting. And one more whack right around. Let's scrub back here. There we go. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna do that exact same procedure for the next set of wax as well on the leg. So what I'm doing now is the swish sounds, and I just grab my master file, which I recorded all the foley onto. I like. Here's an individual swish sound, complete with background noise. So I'm just gonna copy this and paste it into a new file, and we have complete with background noise. Let's see here. There's the background noise. So I'm going to try to find out how much noise I can take out of that file and just get the impact of the swish. Oh, that's not bad. Okay, gives it more anger now because it's actually traveling through the air with that kind of velocity. 